Let's create paper cutout effect. First, let's make the base image in Adobe Photoshop. I have kept my canvas size to 1920 by 1080 pixels with a resolution of 300. In your layers panel, unlock the background layer by clicking on the lock icon and right click on the layer and click on convert to smart object. Now, go in filter, then click on render and click on clouds. Then go in filter again, click on blur and click on Gaussian blur. Keep the radius to 35 pixels and click on OK. Now go in image, click on adjustments and click on posterize. Set level to 15 and click OK. And you will get something like this. You can double click on the cloud option here to get a different pattern. We'll go ahead with this. Select the rectangular marquee tool and click Ctrl plus A to select all. Now go in edit and click on copy or use the shortcut Ctrl plus C. Now open Adobe Illustrator. I have kept my artboard size to 1920 by 1080 pixels with a resolution of 300. Now let's go to edit and click on paste or use the shortcut Ctrl plus V. Now let's scale the base image by holding shift and center align it by clicking on the horizontal and vertical align center. Next click on window and click on image trace. You will get this properties panel. Make sure your mode is set to color and click on trace. Note, if you don't have this top toolbar, then go in window and click on workspace and make sure essentials classic is ticked. Now click on expand. Let's ungroup this by right clicking and selecting ungroup. As you can see, we can now select each shape individually. Now let's select any one shape and click on select similar objects. It will select all the same colored shapes like so. Now right click and click on group. Then select the eyedropper tool, shortcut is eye, and select the color you want to get. Then select the selection tool, shortcut is V and select the next shape and repeat the same steps. Once done with adding colors to all your shapes, let's move on to the next step. Select any one group and right click, then click on arrange and click on send to back then go in effects, click on stylize, then click on drop shadow and keep these settings and click on OK. Now select the next group and right click, then click on arrange and click on bring to front. Then go in effects and click on apply drop shadow. Now repeat the same steps. We are done. Hope you liked the tutorial. Hope you got to learn something new. Thanks for watching. See you in the next tutorial.